hands-on projects are the best, you know, building, building things with their hands and seeing the progress that life makes on their own and being able to apply that to their daily lives. That's just, um, it's, it's just so meaningful for them and they learn so much. In our biodome, we have grass and it has mold on it, so it's starting to die. We have fish and water plants. And then we have worms and crickets and the crickets are dead. There's three cycles in our biodome, the carbon cycle, water cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. Well, every day we check on what's happening inside the biodome and we write it down in our interactive journals. We check if the plants are okay, if you're having enough water. And we're checking to see condensation or evaporation. When the sun hits the water, it makes evaporation and it goes through a straw that's right there. And it goes right here and it comes to um, condensation up here and then the uh, water falls down. We have you know, kids who live on dairies, kids who live on cattle ranches, you know, um, kids who live on just you know, regular farms, almond farms and, and sweet potato farms. So they, they're aware, they see it all the time, but to, to be able to know that, okay, this is part of the carbon cycle, this is part of the nitrogen cycle, you know, we have, we have all sorts of water type of issues going on and they, they see that happening all the time, you know, um, they're able to use vocabulary um, it, it just warms my heart as a teacher. It, I feel like, you know, we're pointing them in the right direction.